left feeling like weird about it. And then I knew I was going to go do uh, Jeff's show on YouTube, his Jeff's Barbershop show. Yeah. He's like a barber and he cuts people's hair and interviews them. And he kind of tries to make it like um, Eric Andre sort of yeah. like, like you sit down and he like, he like insults you a lot. And he like, it's, it's a lot of like surprises, right? That's what it's supposed to be. Right. I kind of watched, you know, a few episodes. It's a great show. I think it's a great, like, like gimmick, like yeah. him cutting people's hair. Cause it's like, not only are you there for the interview, but you want to see like how their hair turns out at the end of it. Right? right. It's like hot ones or whatever. Yeah. It's just like a nice like layer on top of the interview, sort of. Right. Thing. So I was stoked to do it, and I was like, "I wonder what the fuck's gonna happen." He was like, "I don't really have anything written. Like, I, let's just like improv." And I was like, "That's fine with me." And so he sat down, cut my hair, everything's fine. You know, the show's like going normal. Like he's just like kind of insulting me. Jason Nash is there. Todd's there. They're you know kind of roasting me at the same time. Like they're adding their own questions, blah blah blah, and I'm and I'm answering them, and everything's fine. And then he jokes that Lele is gonna show up, and I'm like, "Ha, that's." That's funny, and he's like, yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I tried to. She said that she was down, but her representation would, wouldn't let her come to the show. But she said she wanted to, and I was like, oh, that would have been that would have been really fucking funny. He was like, yeah, I was going to have her curse at you in Spanish and all this shit, and I was like, damn, that would have been a good, that would have been a great bit. Yeah. And then he goes, he goes, um, it's like wrapping up the show. It's near the end. And so he goes, who's, by the way, who's your, who's your least favorite YouTuber? And I was like, least favorite? He's like, yeah. I was like, I, I don't know. And I, I made some stupid joke. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm my least favorite YouTuber. And he's like, yeah, huh, huh. okay. Who's your second least favorite YouTuber? And uh, I was like, I don't know. I didn't, couldn't think of an answer. So I just like, you know, knee jerk thing. I was like, Jake Paul. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay, huh? Interesting that you would say that. And I'm like, and I'm, and I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah. And then he's like, yo, Reggie, like, open the door. And his guy starts to open the door, and I have like no fucking like you, Lele Pons. If you couldn't get Lele Pons, how? Yeah, right. Like there's a chance in fucking hell Jake Paul's gonna walk through that door right now. <laughs> and he opens the door, and it's him. And I'm sitting there like, I'm like looking at him. He's like, don't worry. If he tries anything, like I'm, I'm like I'm. I told him I'm gonna like not it's not cool for him to be. And I'm like you, don't, you didn't you just you don't know if he's not gonna try anything. What the fuck? The kid, I kid you not, the kid walks up to me like he's gonna fight. Like he yeah. like walks like this, like beelines it towards me, and I'm like, "Yo, um, I don't know what the fuck is going on." And he stops, and he he starts going, "Hey, man, um, you know, I really don't think it's cool what you do. And I think you're a cyber bully, and I think that you, I think that you bully kids, man." And I'm like, "What kids?" And he's like, "Just like." I don't know. Like I've talked to like some girls that you have laid into and it's like, they're like, it's just not cool, man. I'm not, I'm not with that. Like I, I'm about like spreading positivity. <laughs> and, Shut the fuck and, up, boy. <laughs> no, I swear. This is how I remember everything. Okay. okay. This is how I remember, I remember it. He's like, yeah, it's just, uh, I'm about spreading positivity. And they're like, you're really not about that. And I just like, I'm, I, I don't fuck with that or whatever. And I was like, so in my head, I'm like, I don't know if this is a joke. Right. Yeah. Is this a bit? Yeah. Did, did Jeff and him talk about this beforehand? I was so fucking confused. Yeah. Because I was like, he must have came here knowing what Jeff's show is about. Yeah. Knowing that it's about the shock value, the the element of surprise, right? And yeah. they did that. And now he's like, you know, kind of like chewing into me. And I'm like, this has to be a bit. So I, I go, I can't tell if he's joking or not. Yeah. He's like, I'm not joking, bro. And his camera dude's like, <laughs> the camera dude hated me. You could just tell he's standing there fucking shaking his head. And I'm like, I, I'm like, okay, man, like you can, you can think that, but like, I don't bully kids. Like, I, I'm not like, I just, it's just like shit for me to write jokes. I just need some to write jokes about. Like, I'm a comedian. I like write, writing jokes. And uh, he's, I'm, he's like, he's still mad at me. And I'm like, I can't figure out if this is a fucking bit or not. I keep looking at Jeff and he's like, Jeff's like very clearly like, like this is not a bit. And so, and I still can't tell if he's doing that for the cameras all three cameras are on plus Jake's camera. Right. And so I'm still like, I'm still trying to play into this thing where I'm like, oh, maybe he expects us to fucking make up on camera. Like maybe that's, that's what the bit is. Right. So I'm like, oh man, dude, I'm sorry. Like I'm, I go in, like, I'm just like, I'm sorry. Like, and he's like, oh, it's, it's cool. It's cool. He apologized. It's cool. And he dabs me up. And then he's like, shut the, shut the cameras off, shut the cameras off. And I'm like, oh, so they shut the cameras off and I'm like, fucking, so you just like use this. Oh yeah. You basically play Jeff. For, for a cut for his own vlog where he can walk in and confront me. Yeah. And then like make 
make yeah. me sort of like, I mean, I didn't have to apologize, obviously. I just didn't know what else to do. It was so fucking awkward. I was yeah. like, we're in this tiny apartment. Yeah. And it's four people who are dead silent. And then me and him. And I'm like, what the? F-? And, and dude, Jeff felt so fucking bad. He was like, I had no idea that's how that was going to go. I thought it was, he was stoked to come. Like he came all the way from Calabasas and, and to do this. And so afterwards we're sitting there having, um, like, again, we're just like talking. He's like, I just don't know why you do what you do. And I'm like, explain, I'm explaining it to him. I'm like, I, this is why. Like, I, I, I need someone to write jokes about. It's not like I start a video and go, I'm going to hurt this person's feelings. Yeah. He's like, yeah, but you do that. And I'm like, yeah, but I just need something to write jokes about. And, and this is, this is the only thing. Like, it's, it's like a, it's an easy thing to write jokes about, especially like, like I, especially when it's somebody that everyone agrees is kind of goofy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, and so I'm explaining this, and he 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 almost like just didn't really have shit to say afterwards. Of course not. I felt like. Of course not. It was weird. It was like he knew what he was going to say before, and then we started having a real conversation about it, and he was just like, oh, we were talking about Lele. And I was like, like, Lele is a perfect example. Like, I can tell that her videos are, they don't put effort into them. They're just a cash grab. You can tell they're lazy. Yeah. They're writing about stuff that's not even relevant to them. Yeah. It's relevant to the thing. It's just, it's very transparent to me what they're trying to do. And I don't fuck with that. And so I write jokes about it. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, but like, but like her video and like, I could just, I, he just didn't have anything else to say after that. And he was like, not. yeah, but like, you know, I just feel like kids look up to you and they, and they see that and they think it's okay to make fun of people. I said, look, man, I don't have kid fans. <laughs> I don't. And he's like, yeah, but I've, no, dude, I've met girls in 14, 15, 16, 17 that say you're their favorite YouTuber. And I was like, yeah, I'm not saying I don't have high school fans. I'm saying YouTube tells me it's 18 to 24. And podcast, he's even older than that. Excuse, kind of more male. And he was like, oh, yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> of course, he's not going to camera dude's eyeing me down the whole fucking time. And then, and then, so like, we like, that was basically it, and then we like we like <sighs> said goodbye, took a took a couple pictures. Yeah. When I sent you, where I'm just like, yeah, it's happening. Yeah, and he left. Yeah, and then we we uh, oh, oh yeah, and in, in the video he says, um, Jeff was like, so what? The next party at your house? He's not invited to. He's like, no fucking way. He's never coming over. Cool. Oh, and then he told me his brother wants to like his brother hates me too. Logan, Logan hates me. Gives a shit. He's like, he's like. He's like, you guys, he's like, you're lucky this is in like an environment where like nobody's drinking and shit like that. He's like, if I would have seen you at a party where we were drinking, it would have been like some confrontational shit. I'm like, I don't, I don't know, man. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a, you know, I'm not like a confrontational dude. That's just so. I hate shit like that. I would have just been laughing. <laughs> I was laughing because I couldn't figure out like what the fuck was going on. I was like, I don't know. I still don't know how much of that was like sincere. How much of that None was like it, weird? Man. We None go downstairs to like go for a hike, and his door, his doorman was like, "Yeah, he was down here like rehearsing what he was gonna say." Oh yeah, and shadow boxing, <laughs> shadow boxing. That's what he said. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Jesus Christ, dude! How fucking dense is this kid that he doesn't under he doesn't actually understand what jokes are? He doesn't understand what commentary is. He's just completely devoid of fucking brain cells. I don't know. It's like. You know, you know, the whole thing was just weird. I don't really know what to think about it. I don't know. Sure. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Like, I, I can't, I'm kind of glad that it happened. Yeah. I like that I'm, that I'm able to like talk about it now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, mean, I just, I think it would be, I don't know. I think it's pretty obvious what, how Jake Paul would react to people that make fun of him in a closed setting. Like, everything you've told me is not at all far from what I'd expect. That's like when Logan saw H3 at a party, and Ethan walks up to him and goes, hey, what's up, man? Like, you know, like, yeah, I've, I've roasted you, but, you know, it, it, like, it is what it is. Yeah. You're you and I'm me. And Logan draws his fucking arm back and, like, and like closes his fist up to... Ethan's face or something, and he's like, uh, says something to the effect of like, if no one was here, that's what I would have done to you or something like that. And it's like, okay. Like, the, him, like, I guess what I'm saying is for him to open the door and beeline to you, I would expect no less. Because him and his brother seem like they can't take criticism. Yeah, I mean, 
He uh, said some shit where he was like, yeah, but like, you know, why are all these people that you're making fun of, like, why do they have such big fan bases? Why are their videos getting 2 million views? Why are, like, we're talking specifically about Lele's videos. Why do her videos get 2 million views? Why is there so many people like liking them and shit like that? I'm like, yeah, but there's just as many, if not more people liking my videos where I'm making fun of them. Yeah. Like, that has to mean something too. Yeah. You think, Go that probably means more than fucking her video getting on the trending page because she had some weird relationship with YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I, I, <laughs> I, I think his logic is, it plays a certain way, right? Like he, <laughs> he's entirely about the numbers. He's always been, you know? Yeah. And, and in his mind, he doesn't make a distinction. So what is 2 million views? What if those 2 million views are fucking 8 to 12? Mm-hmm. And he doesn't consider that eight to twelve year old. Like he keeps going, falling back on. Oh, but they're kids. There are kids that like it. Yeah, and and maybe they happen to stumble upon a video where someone says, "Wait a second, this is fucking whack," and makes you think critically. That's what the fuck. That's how I got into comedy and wanted to do stand up. I was fucking eight, nine, ten, eleven years old, and I was watching dudes thirty. 35 making observations about the world it changed the way i looked at the world and it made me think more critically about myself yeah it enabled me to have like a sense of self-awareness and and not take shit seriously it, it made me feel better about like you know if kids were cooler than me or kids were this and that like yeah. I, I could look in the mirror and joke about it i could joke about them and that was my fucking weapon against that shit and when people like jake when i was younger who may, may have intimidated me that's what in like People saying, oh, this shit is lame or, or, or pointing, pointing out that maybe the shit that I thought was cool maybe isn't so cool or, or it isn't what I make it out to be in my head. That's what enabled me to like be funny and disarm those people who at any time, like I was always the smallest dude growing up. I, I talk about this in our show. I was fucking 5'1 until I was 16. I got fucking clowned on repeatedly. Mm -hmm. But the thing that like didn't make me go home and feel badly about myself was like, I might be 5'1, but bitch, your hairline is that. Mm-hmm. And I could, and I, I learned how to make people laugh at themselves, and mm -hmm. and, and 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 so I, for him to be like, yeah, but kids, fuck, fuck them, kids, man, kids don't know shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it 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 yeah, but that's not that's not to say bully kids, like especially no, no, if you're no. an older person, right? That, like, but you're not bullying anybody. That's what irks me about this whole scenario. Is he wants to come out here and act all high and mighty? Oh, you're bullying kids. Yeah, I mean, like it it I did have like it. When someone confronts you like that about like what you do or whatever, it does yeah. it does make you take a second and be like, "Am am I am I doing something wrong? Am I mean right?" Yeah. Maybe. So I told him I said, "Listen, like when when I when I create a twelve to fifteen minute pe like a like a video, right? I'm writing it out. It's a it's a it's a piece. It's supposed to have a fucking narrative and all this shit, right? And then I film it and I edit it. There's so many steps to that like process. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like make it's like anything else. You make a song." You make a thing. You can't tell right away whether it's good or not, whether it hit the narrative that you wanted to hit, whether it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So much gets lost along the way. So much gets changed. Maybe it's, maybe it is a little bit mean and you just can't fucking tell when you first make it. Yeah. Right. But the way the nature of YouTube, you put it out there, see what people say, whatever. And so I'm like, maybe, maybe some of the videos that I've put out have been like a little bit mean, but that's never ever. I don't sit, I'm not a fucking, what do you think? I'm a villain. You think I sit down and I'm a fuck this dude's day up. Yeah. No. I sit down with the intention of making people laugh. That's what I want to do. I want to yeah. make people laugh. Yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? I don't sit down being like, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to fucking tear into this guy. I'm going to make him feel like shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, I guess, I guess it's more like I want to make a million people laugh <laughs> at this guy yeah. <laughs> with me about the ridiculous shit this dude is doing. Yeah. But that, that's, I guess the point I'm trying to make is when I say fuck them kids, like what I'm saying is. Kids who watch Lele Pons and are entertained by that, it would probably do them some good to have a second opinion to be like, you understand that this is a little bit goofy? That there is nothing, there's no harm there. And, and and if fucking Lele's representation or Jake are hurt by people being like, what? Because in my opinion, Jake projects himself a little bit into that. That was a weird roundabout way of, like, he, the fact that he didn't even address that we did a fucking 15-minute video making fun of him, like, he didn't bring... It's weird to me he didn't bring that up at all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think the whole thing was kind of just about that. What? <laughs> like, like I, I almost feel like he played it off like he was, like, 
like there are other people that I've talked to that are affected by this, but I feel like it's just like about that video. <laughs> right. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like he yeah. wants to come up in there and like this, this, that, and the third act like he's fucking he's gonna come in there and swing on you and he and he and he's and he makes it about oh you're bullying kids. Yeah. First up, it there is no fucking harm in calling a Lele Pons video fucking corny. Hannah Stocking videos fucking corny. All that shit is bad. It's weak. And 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 it doesn't matter if fucking if like I, I just can't, I can't make the connection from commentary to bullying. I don't know how you get there. Yeah. And I, I guess I'm, that's what I'm struggling with here is I don't see how he can honestly call that bullying. I mean, like, to, just like to, to I guess, like, play devil's advocate. It's like, I, I do, like, in that second Lele Pons video, I do say that she's awful. I'm like, she sucks. She's mean. Or she's dumb. She's, like, I, I'm like, I'm, you know, which is, like, kind of bullying. I guess. I would say. So maybe there is like a lighter way I can, you know, maybe I just was in a bad fucking mood that day and I sat down and wrote a video where I was like a little bit more mean. I don't know, man. I think we, oh, well, okay, I guess I keep drawing from that's cringe, but at, almost, at the end of almost every video after Maddie smokes, we fucking, we make a point to be like, don't go fuck with this person. Yeah. We always say, don't go fuck with this person. You know, like, the, you know, at the end of the day, like these are these are harmless jokes. And, and I feel like we make a point here, everywhere to be like, if someone, if comedy is at somebody's expense, it's like you're saying, we're not here to, to ruin their life and make them want to fucking kill themselves and all this and that. But that doesn't mean like we can't be critical in a joking way of somebody. Even saying fucking Lele Pond sucks. Take that on the chin, dude. Mm-hmm. Take that on the chin. Mm-hmm. You're in fucking entertainment. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, fucking yeah, uh, even like reviews and fucking variety are that harsh. <laughs> yeah, what the Remember fuck? Remember that fucking article that dude wrote about posts? Yeah, I mean, there, there's that shit was mean as fuck. It was like a six page fucking diss piece on them. How about this, Jake? You don't fuck with bullying. How about you take down every video where you've uh, uh, tied your girlfriend to a fucking wall and left her out there for hours with duct tape. How about you go watch that fucking video where I clowned you for looking like a sociopath and you look at all those moments, you're teaching that shit to kids. You don't got a problem with that. Mm, yeah. You don't, You ain't bringing none of that shit up. Mm-hmm. True. It's just fuck the fucking, that just, that irks me, man. You, you want I, think come, he, I think he wanted to use the whole thing as like basically like a, like, okay, saying, Cody Ko conquered. Yeah. You know like, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I walked in there, I defeated him. Bullshit. And I'm out. And that's, and that's that. And moment. that's that. And I'm just like, that, that's not really the way that you, sh- like, I just don't think you have, you've done a lot of thinking about this. I think that um, maybe you saw us clown you on in a video for a little bit and you were like, fuck this kid. Yeah. And then you just saw me as someone who's, who, who, you, need, who, real need, about who it. you need to walk up to and confront on video and then walk away from. And it's like, yeah. Because Buddy can't laugh like, at himself. He didn't punch me, so... Of course That's he's not going to punch you. There's fucking four cameras rolling. He's never, ever going to swing on anybody. Yeah. This fucking camera guy, man. <laughs> that dude. That dude. Oh, it was funny. What it was of- really funny. Jake Jake was like, Jake was probably being more civil than his camera than his camera dude, honestly. His camera dude was sitting there just like, he kept being like, yeah. He clearly, he so clearly fucking hated me. I don't know why. <laughs> I never met the kid, man. <laughs> he's like wearing these fucking because you're not allowed to make fun he, of Jake Paul, dude. I get, I guess not. I mean, like he's just one of his yes men, I guess. Yeah, he was like wearing that like like neon orange guest shirt with a neon orange hat. He looked like a hype beast traffic cone. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, uh, that was funny. What kind of fuck? I I'm sorry, man. I don't I don't mean to get all animated about this shit. It's just like that. Like that shit is sucker shit to the fullest, bro. God damn it, that shit is so corny. Turn the cameras off. Oh, it's get. Oh, oh, it's get. It's getting a uh, uh, real in here. Turn the cameras off. Well, I mean, he was like, he was like, turn the cameras off. Turn the cameras off. And then he's like, show, show them that it's off. And I was like, damn, is that really what this comes? Did you have to do that? Like you, it's not just like you trust that people turn the cameras off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he had to get his camera dude to show me that it was off. And I was like, man, that's like when you're at that point, that means that you're yeah, keeping you, it on. Yeah, you do most of the time. You do weird shit. Just a bit. And then I'm like, but like now it gets honest and now you're going to turn the camera right, off. Like, of course. Like, no, this is saying. the real moment. Like we should, if we're actually going to have a discussion, like saying, put bro. that in your fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, dude, I'm just like, 
Oh, man. Sorry. My brain is just going a million miles an hour on him getting on you for setting an example after he does a fucking 20-minute video with Tana babysitting kids and they're talking about fucking each other and all that shit all through the entire... It's just like his his content is riddled with shit if you want to get down to cherry picking and being like, you did this, you did that, you did yeah. this, you did that. So it's just fucking arrogant in my mind to come in there, one, press somebody while they're sitting in a fucking... sitting in a chair. Yeah. It's just so lame. Someone yeah. is sitting down, you're going to run up on them and like, yeah, your eye level with my chest. What's up, bitch? That's one. And then two... Just, I don't know, man. It's just, it, that's lame. That's fucking corny. We'll see. We'll see how that footage turns out. <laughs> Maybe his vlog today or tomorrow or some shit. I bet you I, 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 you know, don't blame me. I'm just saying don't blame me if I look like a total bitch in that video. <laughs> don't blame me because you got to understand. I've explained the situation. You know that I was, I thought the whole thing was a fucking joke. I really did. <laughs> I was like, and I was kind of trying to play it up for the camera at the same time because I'm like, I want to make Jeff's video good. I want to make this moment good. Yeah. But I couldn't, it was so, so confusing. Flex, not trying to flex. Man, I'm holding half a stack, not trying to flex. Flex, not trying to flex. Take your bitch to Nordstrom Rack, that's not a flex.